What is going on my peeps and welcome back to this slightly late over ambitious DIY. If you are a viewer that has been around for a couple months you might remember the rainbow grilled cheese that I did, the rainbow potato chips, well today I have decided to absolutely torture myself and try to make some rainbow slash tie-dyed mozzarella cheese. Completely 100% from scratch and homemade, not with the stupid dyes and the pre-made shredded cheese that I've used in the past. And before this week, I have never attempted to make any type of cheese in my entire life. So this should be pretty interesting. Let's get right into it. Now I will admit, a few days before filming this video, I tried this out once and it came out absolutely terrible. It tasted horrible, it looked horrible, it was a complete fail. But I think I know what I did wrong, I did a ton of research and I'm ready to go for this one. What I grabbed for this recipe is some distilled water, a cheesecloth, some vegetable rennet tablets, some citric acid, and some sea salt. And because I'm fairly confident that this is gonna work, I'm going all out with this one and doing three whole batches with three different gallons of milk for each color. But we first have to prepare the rennet and the citric acid. I ordered both of these off of New England cheese making, neither of which was overly expensive, so I'll be pretty happy if these come out okay. But as you can see, I cut up the rennet tablet and then tried to dissolve that in a quarter cup of water. And then I took one and a half teaspoons of the citric acid and dissolved that in a cup of the distilled water. Next up, in a stainless steel pot, I tossed in that dissolved citric acid first and then an entire gallon of whole milk on top of that. This is supposed to be non-ultra pasteurized. It would be better if it was local, but of course I couldn't find that at any supermarkets around me. So I just went with whatever generic brand I could find. And slowly I began to heat that milk mixture up to 90 degrees. I had a nice new thermometer. Thermometer. I had it over low heat. Everything's going okay so far. Now the second our milk mixture hits 90 degrees, you want to take it off of the burner. I added in the rennet and then this is where I added in the gel icing color. Previously I added in some really cheap liquid food coloring to the milk like way before I mixed anything together. So this is a higher quality icing color and I'm adding it in a lot later in the process. Hopefully that will make all the difference. Now after about 10 minutes of sitting covered, I checked to see that the curd started forming and they looked okay, definitely not as clean of a separation between the curd and the whey in the blog that I'm going off of. So I left it for a few more minutes and I started to cut up each of the curds in a one inch checkerboard pattern. So far they're looking okay, the curds are staying together. Um, so I just let them both rest for another 10 minutes. After 10 minutes had elapsed, I returned both pots to their respective burners put on low heat once again, and then slowly mix the curds as it heated up to about 105 degrees Fahrenheit. Admittedly, I kind of forgot to use the cheesecloth here, but they didn't use one in the blog, so I'm hoping I'll still be okay. Now you guys are gonna have to bear with me a little bit for the next couple steps, cause it just turned into a frenzy, cause I had three different mixtures going. These things are very temperamental, and I couldn't keep moving the camera as I was doing everything. It was getting very messy and very overwhelming. Essentially, after you drain out as much whey from the curd as you can in the sink. Um, this blog says that you want to microwave them for a minute. I know that's like against certain cheesemakers religion to put cheese in the microwave, but I'm following this blog. Yell at them, not me. Now after you get each mixture into the microwave again, you want to drain off some more of the whey, uh, carefully knead it into itself like bread dough, and then return it to the microwave for two more intervals of 35 seconds. Now apparently after three cycles in the microwave and excessive whey draining, you're supposed to be able to stretch and knead the curd like in this picture. Um, that was not happening for me. This one wasn't terrible. It was able to form like a solid mass but it was really heavy and dense and it was not stretching very much. This one just looks absolutely disgusting and no matter what I do, it's just not forming a solid ball at all. So I guess that one's kicked to the curb for now. With my two remaining colors, I tried to stretch them out into logs and then the original plan was to have each different color come together here and then as I stretched and kneaded it, the colors would intertwine with each other and make a nice like tie-dye effect. Well no, this looked absolutely disgusting and it tasted equally as gross. So directly into the trash bin, all three attempts went. Honestly, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I already failed once before like I started filming anything and now this was three different attempts and none of which are coming out good. I'm gonna have to do more research. I'll try one more time for you guys. 
And after giving myself a couple days to cool down, I'm going to give it one last go and then add in the color at the very, very end because some of the things I was reading led me to believe that the acidity in some of the food dye might be messing with the, the chemical processes of this whole thing. Apparently, cheese making is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. So on this last attempt, you guys know the drill already. I first added in the citric acid diluted in a cup of water. And then this time, I actually went down to the farmer's market and found a local whole milk, which is non-ultra pasteurized and it's super fresh, or it should be. So maybe that's gonna make a difference. Here. For one last time, I got this mix up to 90 degrees. I took it off of the heat and added in my rennet mixture. Like I said, I am not going to add the coloring here. I'm going to add it at the very end just so it gives me the best chance for this to actually work. And after resting for 10 minutes, I cut up the curd and I do have to admit this is probably looking the most promising at this step. Maybe the white um, compared to the coloring that was in the last ones is making a difference in the way it looks, but in my opinion, this looks pretty good so far. This time, I'm also going to use the cheesecloth that I forgot to use the last time. So once I gave the curds 10 minutes to rest, for one last time, I poured it into the colander in my sink with the cheesecloth, and they all broke apart, like, very badly, even worse than last time. Already not feeling too great about this attempt either. I strained off as much whey as I could, again, using the cheesecloth this time. Split the mix up into two different microwave-safe bowls, and this was the point that I added the coloring. Again, I used one with red and one for blue, and then, again, started the whole microwave cycling process for one last time. And for a split second, I thought that this red one might uh, have a shot. No! It just, it looks like crap again. It feels like crud. It tastes horrible. This blue one didn't even form a mass again. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put my head through a wall. I'm going insane. Maybe I'll give it another try another day, but right now I'm losing my sanity and I spent way too many hours in this. So I'm gonna call it here. I'm having certain flashbacks of a certain video that may or may not be my most popular video ever that also happened to be my most biggest failure video and in turn received the most hate. So if this turns out like that, welcome back everyone. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed watching my waste of five straight days. If you did, leave a like on this video for me. I'm sorry again it came out a day late. It's just, as you can see, it's been stressful in this household. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. I'm over this video. I love you all though. I will see you.